This story is called Bear's Winter Party. It's written by Deborah Hodge and illustrated by Lisa Sinar. Bear lived in a forest on the side of a mountain. He felt at home among the trees. He nibbled on sweet wild berries. He sipped cool water from the stream. He breathed in the fresh mountain air. Bear loved living in the forest, but sometimes he got lonely. When Bear picked berries, deer ran and hid deep in the woods. When Bear fished in the stream, beaver slapped his tail and dove underwater. When Bear collected hazelnuts and honey, chickadee flew to the top of the tallest tree. Squirrel scurried into her nest. Hare hopped away, and fox slipped into his burrow. Wherever he went, Bear heard the other animals talking about him. He's so big, said Squirrel. His claws are so long, said Hare. His teeth are so sharp, said Deer. His voice makes a rumbling sound, said Chickadee. Bear spent the summer by himself. In the fall, he was still alone. I wish I had a friend, he said. Bear saw that the days were growing short and the air was getting chilly. It was almost time for his long winter sleep. Hmm, I need to do something now, he said. So Bear got to work. He made invitations. Come to my winter party, they said. Then he delivered them, one for deer deep in the woods, one for beaver near the stream, one for fox at his burrow, and another for chickadee high up in the tree. He left the last ones for hare and squirrel outside of their homes. Bear hurried back to his den. He swept the floor. He hung an evergreen bow on his front door. He decorated his walls with sprigs of holly and bright red berries. He roasted hazelnuts and made trays of huckleberry tarts and honey ginger cookies. Then he lit a fire in the fireplace and set a lantern in the window. Last of all, he brewed a big pot of spiced cranberry tea. He was ready. Bear looked out the window. He saw that snowflakes were falling and the afternoon was growing dark. Hmm, no one is coming, he said sadly. When he had almost given up hope, Bear saw deer peeking out from behind a tree. With him were beaver, fox, chickadee, hare, and squirrel. What will they do? Bear wondered. Chickadee was brave. She flew to the window of Bear's den. She peeked in and saw how warm and beautiful it was. Let's go in, she called to the others. Slowly, very slowly, the animals crept closer to the den. When they finally got to the door, Beaver knocked. Just a tiny knock. We're here for the party, he said in a small voice. Come in, said Bear. I'm so glad to meet you. All the animals squeezed inside. Bear passed around bowls of roasted hazelnuts and plates of honey ginger cookies and huckleberry tarts. He poured cups of spiced cranberry tea. Would anyone like seconds? he asked. At first, the animals were quiet, but one by one they began to talk. These are all delicious, said Squirrel. May I have another cup of tea? asked Hare. Fox said, I didn't know bears could bake. Bear smiled. I love to bake, he said. Would you like another cookie? After the animals finished their tea and treats, Chickadee suggested they have a sing-along. I'll start, she said, and you can join in. Soon, all the animals were singing and tapping their feet. Beaver tapped his tail. Bear clapped his paws. Then Fox pulled out his harmonica and began to play. Bear did a little jig in the middle of the room, and everyone cheered. Woohoo! Would anyone like to dance with me? asked Bear. Before long, the whole group was dancing. Round and round the den they went, swinging and swaying, whirling and twirling bobbing and bouncing. This is so much fun, said Hare. I could dance forever, said Bear. After many songs, the music slowed down and the dancing stopped. Bear saw that the lantern was burning low and the fire was almost out. He knew his party was ending. As the animals got ready to leave, Bear said, thank you so much for coming. I hope you all had a great time. Then he gave them each a gift, 
a jar of his own blackberry jam tied with a ribbon. I made it myself, he said. That was a great party, said Fox. Thank you for inviting me, said Deer. I'd love to come back, said Beaver. Sleep well, said Squirrel. See you in the spring, said Hare. Bear gave each one of them a big furry hug. Come again, he said. Chickadee kissed Bear on the cheek. Mwah. You are a good friend, she said. The animals wandered through the trees back to their own homes. Bear heard them humming as they went. He looked out the window. The snow was falling quickly now. Soon, the whole forest would be covered in a thick blanket of white. Bear put the dishes in the sink. He blew out the lantern and climbed into his bed. It's time to go to sleep, he said with a yawn. He pulled the quilt up to his chin and closed his eyes. <sighs> As he drifted off, he gave a happy sigh. For Bear knew that when spring came and he woke up, he would have a forest full of friends. The End